Safety is the number one priority at Kasuni. Not only do we take measures to ensure that we can continue to transport natural gas safely and reliably, we also feel it's important for everyone who's employed by Gasuni to be able to work safely. Some of our safety regulations are so vital to safe working with Gasuni that they form the basis of everything we do to work safely. These are our 10 golden rules of safety. This film looks at the 10 golden rules of safety in more detail. The 10 golden rules of safety apply to everyone who undertakes any activity for Gasuni. Before you start work, you must know what personal protective equipment, PPE, to use. Please consult your work instructions, regulations, SHE plans, work permits and location guidelines. The mandatory personal protective equipment at gas transport locations are flame retardant and anti-static clothing, safety shoes, a safety helmet and safety goggles. At locations where gas is being transported, it is mandatory to wear personal gas detection equipment and in locations where there is a danger of asphyxiation due to the presence of gases that reduce levels of oxygen, an oxygen sensor must be worn. This will generally be a combined LEL oxygen meter. Personal protective equipment. Use the prescribed personal protective equipment, PPM. Use only approved PPE. Call each other to account about wearing PPE. Regularly check the condition of your PPE. Alcohol and drugs. You are forbidden to attend work under the influence of alcohol or drugs. No alcohol or drugs are to be taken when working or driving. Be aware of the possibility of residual amounts of alcohol or drugs in your bloodstream. Be aware of the possible side effects of medicines. Intervene if someone at work is taking alcohol or drugs. Smoking. Don't smoke outside designated smoking areas. The smoking ban must be strictly adhered to. If there is no designated smoking area, notify your site manager supervisor. In nearly all cases, a work permit is required before work can be carried out. The work permit should state what the work consists of, what the safety risks are, what PPE has to be worn, and what control measures must be in place. It is important that you are familiar with the content of the work permit and that it has been properly discussed with you. Work permit. Ensure that you have a valid and complete work permit. Clearly describe the work to be done. Identify any risks and discuss the safety measures to be taken. Check to ensure that the work site is safe, including when issuing and withdrawing the work permit. Be aware of any other work that may be going on nearby. If the work permit is being reissued, check that the circumstances haven't changed. If there is an accident, all work permits will be cancelled. In order to work safely on parts of the gas transport system, they must be freely accessible, not connected to power sources and disconnected from the fuel supply. Gasuni adheres to the general principle of lock, label and bypass also known by its Dutch acronym, the VLU, VLO procedure. Before any work starts on an installation or machine, Gasuni will ensure that it is made safe. Locked valves and switches always have a red label attached to them. It is strictly forbidden to remove these labels without permission from the site supervisor. Making safe. You may only carry out work on equipment that has been made safe. A designated person must establish and check that the process equipment is safe and remains so. In other words, that it does not contain any gas or other hazardous substances and is not connected to a power supply. Make sure that labels, locks and bypass connectors are properly applied, removed and registered. To measure is to know. Regularly test or measure to ensure that the situation remains safe. Use the correct, approved and calibrated measuring instruments.
working at heights. Work safely at heights. Only carry out work on scaffolding with a safety release label. Where necessary, use a fall prevention harness. Only work on a ladder if it is stable and has been erected under the correct corner of the scaffold. Be alert to the risk of falling objects. Soil excavation work. Excavate safely. Always stay well clear of the operating range of an excavator. Abide by the careful excavation process guidelines when carrying out excavation work. Only carry out excavation work following consultation with the site supervisor. Dig trial trenches if necessary. Lifting and hoisting. Never walk or stand under a load that is being lifted. Never entered a cordoned off area containing a suspended load without permission. Always follow the instructions. Ensure clear and correct roll allocation and communication. Avoid lifting or hoisting loads above gas supply pipelines. Work sometimes has to be carried out in enclosed spaces. Working in enclosed spaces is always a high risk activity. It is therefore governed by strict safety requirements such as the mandatory wearing of breathing apparatus and gas sensors, posting a manhole watch, forced ventilation, rescue equipment and good means of communication. All the control measures needed to work safely in an enclosed space are always specified on the work permit. Enclosed spaces. Make sure the enclosed space can be safely entered. Never enter the space without a safety release label. Always post a manhole watch at the entrance. Keep the oxygen concentration constantly monitored. Ensure suitable rescue, protection and communication equipment. Only work with safe voltage levels. Road safety. Drive safely. Keep to the traffic rules including on installations. Begin driving only when you are properly rested and stop when you are tired. Ensure that your cargo does not pose any risk. Remain alert at all times when driving. Never make phone calls while you are driving unless you see an accident about to happen. Adapt your driving to changing road conditions, mist, low sunlight, temperature. And finally, Gasuni's golden rules are based on the philosophy that everything possible must be done to prevent incidents. The golden rules of safety have been drawn up to clearly demonstrate that we apply limits that must not be exceeded. And if they are, it could lead to an extremely hazardous, possibly life-threatening situation. Anyone who sees someone who is not complying with the golden rules will be expected to call them to account. Of course, safety is not just about rules. Communication and good coordination between the various parties is also crucial. So at all times, think safety.